Hey guys, my name is James from TechMNO and uh, for this video, we will have a quick tutorial on how to transfer files from your hard drive going to your iPad mini and vice versa or any I iPad OS devices that you have on your hands right now. So, of course, you need to have an iPad OS uh, device. Like for this one, I have here an iPad mini 5 or if you have any uh, iPad Pros with USB Type-C, it will also work. Uh, for this one, we have, uh, we have a lightning device. So if you can see here, there's a uh, lightning port. As you can see here. And it will also work with all of the uh, iPads running iOS 13. So I right now, this uh, iPad runs iOS 13.4.1 and that should be work perfectly fine. Of course, what you need to transfer your files is that you see here on the, on the table right now. So first, you need to have this one. So if you have a lightning, lightning uh, devices or a lightning iPad products, you need to have this one. This is the legit lightning to USB free camera kit. So as you can see here, as I'm zooming here, I focus. as you can see here, there is a USB 3.0 port, USB A, and a lightning port. So for charging, so so for this uh, adapter, you don't need to use the lightning cable to work without. So you all you need is a powered USB. So as is, as you can see, there is a uh, free USB 3.0 ports as you can see there is a uh, there's a blue accent also here also blue accents since this is a USB powered hub so you need to have a power source so as you can see here it's a micro USB since this is a USB port micro USB port you need to have a micro USB cable right so here it's a USB A to micro USB. Of course, if you have an uh, iPad with uh, USB Type C, for, for instance, iPad Pro, you don't need this one because the iPad uh, USB C is already powered, uh, more powerful than the USB 3.0 and the Lightning connector. So you just need to plug and play for that, and it will uh, process or transferring your files more easily. Of course, um, going back, and you, of course, you need to have an adapter. So any adapter will work, but I might suggest that you need to have a uh, you, you need to have a five more than five watts of power so uh, for instance I have here adapter from Huawei that's my phone but I suggest that you need to have an adapter more than 10 watts so for instance 18 watts uh, you can also have your 30 watts that's more that, that's great so what you can do right now of course uh, we will uh, put the hard drive here so this is a Seagate this is a Seagate one terabyte hard drive so this is a backup slim plus as you can see backup slim Slim Plus. Of course, you need to have the connector here. Just put it here. Okay. And now uh, you just need to set aside. Okay. So right now, yeah, you just need to plug it in right now. What I, what I can suggest is you need to plug it out right now. So of course, you need to put it here. And now uh, we'll just uh, come back and uh, we'll just put it here on the plug. Right. All right. I'm back. Okay. So right now, what I can advise is put first the power source to your USB powered hub. So you just put it right now. Of course, see here. Plug it here right now. So we'll just remove. And plug it right now. So so the USB powered hub is already connected to the iPad, uh, to the uh, lightning camera kit the adapter sorry the adapter so as you can see here just uh, so as you can see the adapter is already been plugged in okay so right now so you you'll now put your hard drive and you will see the led lights of the hard drive is working right now okay so we just uh wait you see as you can see it's already been see here as it will put here it's a, the backup plus has already been uh, read so you can see I can, I can transfer files right now okay so what I can do is for put first here so we can uh, transfer files right now okay so we'll just put the backup plus so 
I have a sample here, sample photo, so I you can show I I can show you what you, uh, you can do. So you can transfer file. So we just uh, pick four and drag it here. So yeah, so yeah, that's already been transferred to the uh, iPad from your hard drive. So we'll just uh, click done. So let's say we will just uh, transfer a video. So okay, first, before uh, before anything else, we will just click it here. Okay, so it's already it's reading. Yeah, it's been, uh, read. So we we'll just put some videos. So as you can see here, yeah, it's working. So just so right now we will just uh, transfer this video to here on from the hard drive going to the iPad. Okay, so it's already been transferred, and as you can see. It already reads the video. Okay. okay, thank you so much for watching our video for transferring your files to your hard drive to your iPad mini and vice versa. If you have any questions or concerns, you can drop it down here on the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, my name is James from TechMNO and you catch you on the next one.